Lil Wayne and Birdman have had a long-term, if sometimes controversial, relationship. But the duo's recent in-studio reunion has given fans of the Young Money Collective hope. The long-awaited reunion photo was posted to Lil Wayne's Instagram stories on Friday, January 25. Although the duo appeared to be in the studio, the former Hot Boy member didn't provide many details about what fans can expect from this reunion. Lil Wayne and Birdman have had a long-term, if sometimes controversial, relationship, but the duo's recent in-studio reunion has given fans of the Young Money Collective hope. The long-awaited reunion photo was posted to Lil Wayne's Instagram stories on Friday, January 25. Although the duo appeared to be in the studio, the former Hot Boy member didn't provide many details about what fans can expect from this reunion. When it comes to rap music, I don't listen to anyone, Wayne said. I don't have time for that, because I'm trying to get better every day. I tell the artists that too. When you find a favorite artist, you'll start looking like them. It took Birdman pulling my ass aside and telling me, bro, I'm sick of every song you do that sounds like fucking Jay-Z, he continued. You're not Jay-Z. Despite this sound advice, Birdman and Lil Wayne's relationship has had its ups and downs over the years. Wheezy sued the cash money boss in 2015 over the constant delays of the Carter v. The lawsuit continued for many years, and by 2018, Birdman told Apple Music that their legal battle had gotten so bad that it was starting to affect their families. It's just a lot of parts, but I'm not going to leave it like that, Birdman said at the time. I don't worry about what's good for me. He deserves that from me, I'll give him that. We gotta get this shit together because it's affecting our kids. And that's not cool at all. The couple finally settled their dispute later that year. Elsewhere in his interview with Rolling Stone, Wayne said that even though the Carter III is 15 years old, he barely remembers the project. I'll be honest with you, I don't know the Carter III, the Carter II, the Carter I from the Carter IV. That's just my God's honest truth, he admitted. You can lie, you can ask me, about, such and such song, I don't even know what are we talking about. So it has no importance to me at all. We're not even a month into 2024, and we're already getting a ton of new music. We've been immersed in new pop and banger music, but we're also celebrating a special anniversary of some of our favorite songs from yesteryear. For example, Ariana Grande's Seven Rings is five years old, Taylor Swift's Shake It Off debuted ten years ago, Lady Gaga's Bad Romance will be fifteen years old and Usher's Yeah is almost be old enough to drink and Christina Aguilera's Genie in A Bottle is celebrating its 25th birthday. This barely scratches the surface, either. With the new year just around the corner, We've scoured the archives and rounded up 50 songs that have a special birthday in 2024. Lil Wayne has a theory about why Drake gets so much criticism. During a recent appearance on Richard Sherman's podcast, the NFL player and podcast host gave props to Wheezy for bringing the Canadian rapper and Nicki Minaj under his Young Money imprint. At one point in their conversation, Sherman asked Wayne why he thought Drake had been under so much scrutiny throughout his career. He's red, light-skinned. That's just American history, what I do know is that I'm not light-skinned. I hated all the light-skinned guys at school. So, yeah, it is, Wayne replied. American history, man. Wayne's response sparked mixed reactions among fans. Some laughed at the response and did not take it as a slight. Others recalled the time Wayne said, there's no such thing as racism, a few years ago. Wayne talks about how racism doesn't exist and then turns around and talks about how it does exist, one fan commented on Instagram. LOL and talked about how he'll never have any dark-skinned kids. Because he has light skin? Someone else wrote. Wayne, brother, you are an amazing artist. The way you write I know you are much smarter and more thought-provoking than that. During an appearance on Fox Sports in 2016, a Green Bay Packers fan told host Skip Bayless that the diversity of crowds at his shows is, obviously a message that there is no such thing as racism. The comment sparked a lot of controversy online, 
but that didn't change Wheezy's mind. He stood by his comments and cited his relationship with a white police officer named Robert Hubler, also known as Uncle Bob, who saved his life after he was shot when he was a teenager. Wayne mourned Hubler after his death in 2022. If you find this content suitable for you and you will like to have more contents like this please take some time to subscribe, turn on notification button so that you will be the first to watch the next video, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.